Welcome to SpriteMancer Preview and Render Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at the preview and render sections and learn how they work. Here's the preview section as mentioned in previous videos. This is where we'll be able to see our project live preview. This outline defines the project canvas, which you can change by going to Edit, then Canvas Size. You can see the current canvas size here. We can move the preview around with the right mouse button, zoom in and out with the mouse wheel, center, and reset zoom level with middle mouse button. We can also change the selected layer position with the left mouse button. Here we have some helper icons for the preview section. Let's check them out. Reset zoom level will set the preview zoom back to 1x. Center preview will set the preview position back to the center. Show origins will enable or disable the origin of each layer. These are little X images that show each layer's position. Show names will enable or disable the names of the layers to be shown in the preview, just above the origin position. Show connections will enable or disable drawing a connecting line from the layer to its sub-elements. For example, this will connect the emitter with all the particles. Show emitter region will enable or disable the preview of the area where particles can spawn. Show non-selected images transform box will enable or disable the transform box of the images that are not currently selected. That's all for the preview section. Let's move to the render section now. The render section is where we can simulate and render our animation. Let's go through all the options here. Trim will crop all the empty space of the animation before rendering. This can be very helpful to get much smaller final file sizes. Stop on blank frame will stop the rendering process if one frame is completely blank. This can be useful for animations like explosions or impacts, where you want to stop the animation after the first burst. Randomize this option will make sure that every time you hit render, a new animation will be made. Turning this option off will make that the animation will always be the same when rendering. Scale will scale down your project resolution. This option can be very helpful to achieve pixel artifacts or just to shrink the final animation size. This option will also modify the preview size. You can see the preview size changing here. Time will determine for how long the animation will be rendered. Finally, we have the two main functions of the render section, simulate and render. Simulate will make the animation start again. When working with burst animations, this can be extremely helpful to check the results. Simulate can also be triggered with the spacebar. Render will attempt to render the current animation using all the configuration above. SpriteMancer will try to loop the animation and will tell you if it finds any problems that will stop the seamless looping. You can then decide if you want to continue without looping. Let the app try to fix it for you or just cancel the rendering process. After rendering our animation, the render result window will open. Here we can see the result of the rendering process and decide how do we want to export it. At the left side, we can see our animation playing and we have the option to give it some modifications. Frame skip slider will allow us to add frames skipping to our animation. This will make the animation skip X frames, making the final length shorter and giving it a more hand-drawn feel. Reverse will make the animation play in reverse. At the right side, we have some information about the animation, like the animation's length and size. Exported frames and exported size are the expected length and size of the exported animation. These values will depend on other values like frame skip or GIF scale. Below that, we have export options. This is where we can choose which format we want to export our animation and we'll have some extra options depending on which format we chose. The export options is in active development, so expect more formats in the future. Finally, we have the export button that will open the OS dialog so we can choose where we want to save our animation. And that's all for the preview and render sections.
Thank you so much for checking out Spritemancer. Remember that we have a Discord community where you can share your creations, suggestions, and bug reports. See you in the next video. Goodbye.